Our next speaker is, is passionate about dance, loves to paint, and loves to give hugs to defiant optimists. Doreen Shinaz is an author, a trailblazer in impact investing. She's known for founding Impact Investing Investment Exchange, which houses the world first social stock exchange and boasts one of the largest crowdfunding platforms for impact investing. Doreen's innovative work includes gender-focused social bonds and driving sustainable development goals. Please welcome Doreen Shinaz. Good morning, everyone. Today, we come together to celebrate progress. Progress that defies norms, progress that challenges status quo, and most importantly, progress that actually makes our world a better place. We, in recent years, have witnessed remarkable global progress. And, oops, sorry, the slides are going, yeah. The economic growth across regions has, has allowed 26 countries to graduate from less developed to middle income. We have had political participation and policies that has allowed us to address climate crisis and diversity. And healthcare-wise, we came together as a global community and embraced medical technology, and we could overcome pandemic. Now, this is all fantastic. And we, as the impact investing community, have played a role in this progress. And together, we put out in the market a trillion dollars, impacting lives of millions. So hats off to all of you, because you did it. Now, before we actually start popping the champagne, we actually need to look under the hood and see what's happening. There are some sobering realities. We are confronted by myriad climate change crisis, income inequality, and of course, global conflict. Now listen, climate crisis impacts everyone. But if you look a little closer, you will see that 91% of the 2 million deaths related to climate disaster and $3.64 trillion of loss in assets it all occurred in the Global South. Now, that is incredible disparity in climate crisis. Now, if you look at the globe and the wealth around, I come from Singapore, has a lot of rich people, there are 2,600 billionaires out there. And their wealth combined is more than the wealth of 5 billion people on this planet. And in terms of global conflict, we know how it's getting worse by the day. We have had over 238,000 people who were killed last year from global conflict alone. And of course, that was an increase of 96%. Now, if you put gender lens on top of all this, how does this look? It looks awful. Climate change, extreme weather, conflict, displacement, it all impacts women disproportionately and thus creating immense gender inequalities. So given these disheartening statistics, what do we, the do-gooders with the business hat on, do? Well, the answer is simple. We all become defined optimists. So defined optimists boldly envision a brighter world while unwaveringly striving for positive change in the face of adversity. Defiant optimists tirelessly advocate for women, the environment, marginalized community, and for peace. And defiant optimists amplify and value these people in the financial markets. So yes, like many of you out there, I am a defiant optimist. And yes, I will give you a hug if you come over. <laughs> so with this defiant optimism, 14 years ago, I started Impact Investment Exchange, IX for short. And we have, along with many of you in the audience as our partners, been able to put in the market over $300 million, impacting lives of over 159 million people. And yes, it was hard work, but we did it. 
with incredible amount of courage, innovation, and perseverance, we managed to connect the women in the last mile to the Wall Streets of the world, one bond at a time. We created the world's first gender bond seven years ago, which was eight and a half million. And I'm so proud to say that in the next few weeks, we're putting out the seventh orange, uh, seventh women's livelihood bond, which is $100 million in the market. <laughs> and listen, you know, it's, it's not just us, really. The ones who are behind this are the, the three million women who are all now connected to the Wall Street. It's Emma in the Philippines, who grew her Sari Sari store. It's Mona in Cambodia, who actually got the training to grow the yield of her organic farm. It is Rashmi in India, who actually now produces marigold for climate adaptability and sells it to pharmaceuticals. So these women, along with their three million sisters, are now part of the market because we have been able to capture their voice and their value through IX values and be able to connect it to the bonds. And I'm proud to say, because of these women, to date, IX has experienced absolutely no credit loss. And that says something. That means we have proved if you create deep impact, you are reducing the financial risk and you need women to be in front and center of it. So for us, the challenge now is how do we elevate this? How do we have everyone embracing this impossible dream, which is possible, of bringing risk, return, and impact together? Well, in collaboration with the Global North and Global South and incredible partners like USDFC, Australian DFAT, Naveen, ANZ Bank, Sherman and Sterling, and Water.org, we came together and created a whole new asset class called the Orange Bond. Orange is the color of SDG5, which stands for gender equality, and we have been able to collect that effort and advance it with climate resilience and through a range of product, including the bonds, including orange capital, and, and also transformative orange action. So we have now able to paint the world orange effectively to impact 100 million lives of women by 2030 and putting $10 billion in the market. And guess what? We are off to a great start with not only the work of the bonds, but also the all the other bonds, as you can see, that are coming out in the market. Now, the moment is now, and I want you to think about this. You can push this orange dream to be a reality for the millions in the places you're operating in and make today's SOCAP be the marking event where we can be remembered as the ones who created this orange transformation. As defined optimists, you can actually prioritize inclusivity with the orange spirit. As defined optimist, you can actually demand the financial markets, embrace the orange capital. And as defined optimists, you can actually paint the orange all over, all across the world. Be defiant and be an optimist. Thank you.